What's going on? It's Asia Sky from DX Daily Podcast. And 21 Savage recently set social media on fire with his opinion on Drake versus Future. So we all know Drake is one of, if not the biggest rapper on the planet. But according to 21 Savage, Drake will never reign supreme in the city of Atlanta. During a recent appearance on DJ Academics Off the Record podcast, 21 Savage argued that even though Drake is one of the biggest rappers, he'll never be able to dethrone Future as the top rapper in Atlanta. Now 21 went on to back up his opinion by saying that part of Future's dominance in Atlanta is due to how big he was on the mixtape circuit there. It's it's a lot of niggas who you really can't tell them Future ain't bigger than Drake. That's that was his cap. Really? Oh God. I used to think that. Drake ain't really no big mixtape artist like that. How how you got all your Drake albums, you probably really went in the store and bought them. Every no future music. album I ever heard was a, a bootleg. Niggas was bootlegging it or going to live mixtapes. So when nothing was the same or whatever, uh, all that type of shit came out, I, I ain't knowing how to get to that shit. Now, after making his full argument, 21 hopped on Twitter to clarify exactly what he meant. He said, nah, I said some people that come from where I come from do, because when I was younger, I was disconnected from mainstream music. I didn't know what Spotify was until I was a rapper. All we knew was mixtapes. And further along in the off the record interview, 21 even went as far as to say that if he was not a rapper, he wouldn't even pay attention to Drake's music. But in the end, he did wrap it up by giving some props to Drake. He said, I understand the work he put in and how hard he go. If I wasn't a rapper, I don't feel like I still would listen to Drake for real. It's just I'm a rapper, so I understand the work he put in now, like how hard he go. Wait, like when you ain't no rapper, all them statistics don't mean shit. A regular street nigga don't give a fuck about how many times you went number one, like how many white people listen to your shit, because they don't even think that them, them, the farthest they think is the club. 21 even said he would turn down an opportunity to be on Kanye West's Donda album in order to work with Drake. If you, Post Malone can do a song with whoever the f*** you want to do a song with. I, me personally, like, I'm going to keep it a brick. Me personally. I wouldn't have wanted to be on Donda if, I, if I'm going to be on I was CLB. just about to ask just me personally. That's just, that's just the type of guy. So Kanye caught you not turn that shit down. But you, you rock heavy. His kryptonite is loyalty, bro. It's the best. It's the best and worst thing. If he f with you, he feel like certain shit, nah, like I can't do it. I'm talking about shit. when niggas get smoke behind shit. When it's guns being shot, real shit. Then it's like that's why I said the Don and CLB. I probably was exaggerating a little bit, but I f with Drake so hard, I don't know. But if it ain't like no shit but blood being shed. And I probably it don't really matter, but yeah, you can when think about it. Blood shed. I don't want to be with you. I know what they're gonna do when they catch you. I don't want to be somewhere shooting a video with you and that shit get shot down. So it still appeared he had love and respect for Drake's career as well. But we want to know what you think. Do you agree with Twenty One? Do you think Future is bigger than Drake in Atlanta? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast, and as always, keep it locked in to Hip Hop DX.